Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we're covering the platform track at Android Dev Summit, Health Connect, the Now in Android app, user choice billing, and lazy layouts in Jetpack Compose. The third day of Android Developer Summit live streamed, focusing on developer features and guidance around Android 13. Check out the full YouTube playlist to learn more about how your apps can help make Android more private, secure, and personal, along with how they can stand out by taking advantage of new features and best practices. Over 10 health, fitness, and wellness apps rolled out integrations with the Health Connect platform, including early adopters of Health Connect like MyFitnessPal, Aura, and Peloton. Health Connect is a platform that we developed together with Samsung to enable users to allow apps to securely share health and fitness data with each other. And the Health Connect beta app gives users a central place to manage their privacy settings with granular controls to see which apps have access to data at any given time. Enabling health and fitness apps to talk to each other allows apps to provide users with better, more holistic health insights. Instead of having to utilize different APIs to talk to each app, with Health Connect, building an integration with a new app is as simple as reading in new data. The post has links to the information to help your app use Health Connect to develop richer insights for your users. And we also released a playlist of videos around developing with the Health Connect platform. The Now in Android app is live on Google Play. It is a fully functional open source Android app built entirely with Kotlin and Jetpack Compose that showcases best practices, opinionated designs, and solutions to complex real world problems. And like this show, it helps you keep up to date with Android development by providing regular news updates. You can find the app source code at our GitHub site. We announced that we are expanding the user choice billing pilot to users in the United States, Brazil, and South Africa, joining Australia, India, Indonesia, Japan, and the European Economic Area. The pilot is open to developers of non-gaming apps, and the post has more detail, including information on the Spotify rollout of an initial test implementation of user choice billing in select countries. The videos from the Android platform track at Android Developer Summit have dropped, beginning with my top three picks from the platform track at ADS22. How to migrate your apps to Android 13 provides an overview of what it takes to get your app working on Android 13, targeting SDK version 33, and how to take advantage of some new stuff Android 13 has to offer. It also calls out to many of the other sessions, making it a good place to start your Android 13 journey. Under privacy and security in Android 13, we also cover what's next up with the privacy sandbox, everything about storage on Android, demystifying attestation, and how to foster user trust by adopting privacy-respecting permission workflows. Under personalization, we teach building for a multilingual world, building modern Android app widgets, designing a high-quality app with the latest Android features, and building accessibility support for Compose. Sessions that walk you through the updated capabilities of the platform, including support for the latest media and communication standards and more, include presenting a high-quality media experience for all users, improving your social experience quality with Android Camera, how to handle capture, playback, and sharing of 10-bit HDR video, supporting BLE audio in your voice communication applications, an introduction to ultra-wideband on Android, the latest in Android graphics, how to start syncing data with Health Connect, and implementing hardware acceleration for on-device machine learning. We even shared how to begin migrating to Billing Library 5 and what it takes to make subscriptions more flexible on Google Play. Pixel 7 is the first 64-bit only Android device. And keep your app from failing in a 64-bit only world covers how to make sure your app works properly on it and upcoming 64-bit only devices. We finished the platform track with a platform hashtag Ask Android session, where we took your questions live with experts that build and support the Android platform. Episode 191 of Android Developers Backstage was recorded from our London office studio. Rebecca Franks joined Chet as a guest host and talked with Andre, Matvey, and Andre from the Jetpack Compose engineering team about layouts, especially the lazy ones, which are the Compose equivalent of RecyclerView. So that's it for this week. With Android Dev Summit and its platform track, Health Connect, the Now and Android app, user choice billing, lazy layouts, and more. Please subscribe, share, stay safe, and come back here soon for the next update from the Android developer universe. Thank you.